Hey guys, uh, thanks for stopping by and checking out what I got in this time. I appreciate your time. So, um, I've got, um, I've got a few days to play around, so I'm going to make, first I'm going to knock out a video uh, for you on my phone. I'll try not to wobble around too much. Um, sprain my ankle, so that's, uh, that's a lot of fun. So, let me go ahead and sit down and uh, just to make it easier on myself, uh, show you what I've been up to. So, here's the new stack. Here's my new poison. Uh, here we go. First up is a book I got for pretty cheap. Um, cheaper than that. Uh, this one's been out for a little while. Called Shock Value. A very important, uh, just covers a very important uh, chapter in horror movie history so read a lot of reviews all seem uh, positive for the most part and it just talks about john carpenter and wes craven and a few others that you know made horror a bit darker and you know quote unquote edgier that kind of thing here's the write-up and i'm gonna see how long i can make well anyway i'm gonna see how long i can make uh this video on this new phone. Um, hopefully I can just do it all in one take. I'm just curious to see how long I can go um, with making videos. So this this book, looking forward to, this is one I'm looking forward to reading out, uh, out in the backyard once the weather gets perfect. It's almost there, but not quite there. So if I can, I like to read out in the, in the backyard. So that's that one. Next one is finally the price dropped on this one. Uh, so it felt good to finally get this off the wish list. Folk Horror, Hours Dreadful, and Things Strange. So I definitely wanted to get a, a book on this subject. So I'm trying to collect books that cover every uh, subgenre if I can. And this was this was one of them. Not too familiar with this series of books, um, but there's this one. A lot of positive reviews for this one as well. So glad to finally mark that off the wish list. Next is uh, one I definitely want to get more from this series. It's from uh, Creation Cinema. And this one is The Hollywood Hex, Death and Destiny in the Dream Factory, an illustrated history of cursed movies. So, very powerful subject. And an important, important one in the horror genre. So, yeah, I'm definitely a big fan of creation cinema books. Uh, I, and this was one of them that was recommended to me by one of my buddies at... Um, Recommends a lot of good things, so I decided to, once the price was right for this one, to snatch it up. And there's two more that I personally want to get. I don't want the whole collection of these, uh, just ones that I'm interested in for now. So, and this one's a really well done book. Uh, I've only read two chapters in it so far. And then it's kind of skimmed around on some of the other things. Uh, you know, obviously it's going to talk about the Poltergeist films and Twilight Zone the movie. And, but there's some others I wasn't, I just didn't know about, so that was interesting. So yeah, it's a really well put together book. Um, so I can't wait to finish that up. That's one I got in not too long ago that I'm working on. So, and that's that. Next one is called Claws and Saucers, science fiction, horror, and fantasy film, a complete guide from 1902 through 1982 by David Elroy Goldweber. This guy's seen a lot of movies. This, this book is nuts. Here's the back. It's a beast. It's a beast. A 
I like how he does his um, uh, reviews and then just kind of breaks them down, as you can see. It's pretty cool. It's just interesting to see what the gore is and just, you know, his, his thoughts. Yeah, it's a beast, guys. Even has alternate titles mentioned, so that's that's pretty helpful. So that's that one. That'll go on the new bookshelf that I'll show you guys that I got in. So show you guys a new shelving unit that I got. So stick around for that one. All right, next is move these two out of the way. Next up is volume one of Keep Watching the Skies. The classic Schlocky Monster movies. American science fiction movies of the 50s. The 21st Century Edition. Written by Bill Warren. I think... I married a monster from outer space. Yep. Yeah. I thought that monster looked familiar. It's one of my favorites. Got the sun demon. Ooh, that's a good movie. That needs a, a hand of death needs a better, um, definitely needs a collector's edition hand of death. That's all. Sort of a quote-unquote lost movie. I don't think Hand of Death has been released on the Blu-ray. I have to look. I can't remember. I don't think it has. I think I still have my crappy DVD of that movie. 4D Man. Yeah, this, this series of books is awesome. This is Volume 1. It does have some cool poster arts in here, as well as some scenes, as you can see. That's cool. The Deadly Mantis. Yeah, mostly black and white photos. Uh, a few color ones. Got a crap ton of uh, awesome information. All right, so that's volume one. Uh, A through K. Just this is A through K. <laughs> All right. Uh, volume two. This one will be L through Z. another volume one and two are ones i've definitely been wanting from right from the very beginning but i had to wait until i saw a better price for these and to make sure i got the right ones i think these have been repressed uh, twice already i was afraid i was only going to get one volume in but i checked my order and it did say it would come with both volumes so thankfully i got both of these in
So look, yeah, definitely look for that. Um, make sure you get, uh, Amazon has a listing of both the volumes you can order at, uh, in, in one, one go, so. They. That was a fun one. Or, excuse me, I'm sorry. Them. <laughs> Not they. Yeah, them. Pretty cool. Mysterious Island. Uh, Monster from the Green Hill, right? Yep, Monster from Green Hill. That one's a bit sluggish. That's not one of my favorite ones, but that's not bad. Oh, I do like the way the monster looks, but not one of the not one of the fast-paced movies. That's for sure. Oh, this is an awesome movie. You want to talk about some movies that need to be like remade with the technology that we have now. A lot of these just get overlooked or I don't I guess they get overlooked. They, there's no there's no movies being remade from this from the 50s really, not that much. That's one of them I think would be pretty cool if it did. So that's volume two. All right, so those are the books on cinema. And, yeah. and then here we got some um, horror comics. I'm extremely addicted to these. I want all these. I don't know. I'll probably pass on the coloring book, but I want. I want this. I want to try and get this whole series. Uh, these are amazing, well quality, well done books. I believe they started putting these out like back in 2012. Clear up to like, I think um, the latest one was sometime last year or t maybe 2019, maybe just a few years ago. But yeah, um, I'm just kind of going out of order just due to price, just what I can get for the, uh, a good price. So this one is, this one is Haunted Horror. Uh, comics your mother warned you about and they're just really beautiful well done put together books um so just finally going after these um, there's the back the spines is pretty cool uh most of them are numbered some of them are some of them are not like usually you'd see a number like right there in that red blood spot but this one's blank for some reason i think they sort of i don't know what what the deal is with that maybe if some of you guys who know more history of this can let me know why most of them are numbered and and some of them are just sort of skipped but i've made notes as best i can as far as which ones to as far as what you know what all is out there but um yeah the numbers are kind of they get a little bit confusing uh it's up to 27 i believe but yeah it's the chilling archives of horror comics is what this series is by probably gotta say that wrong where's it at uh, yo yo books some others that's advertised 
all in color, so that's awesome. Some of the ones I pick up are um, from the 50s that are all black and white reprints, no color. But these series of books here are all going to be color. Well, most of them. It just depends on some of the stories. That's cool. All right, so that's Haunted Horror Comics Your Mother Warned You About. Very nice. Uh, next one is from the same series. Haunted Love. And here you got some of that glossy embossed against the flat matty flat mat. That's pretty cool. There's the spine. I think this one's numbered. Yeah. This one is my camera, 20. Here's the back. And like I said, I want to try to get all these books. They're amazing. I was going to get back into poster collecting, but then <laughs> I got into this. And I'm like, I think it's going to be a while till I start looking at posters again. Uh, the Bride of the Crab. How cool is that? Make me a movie of that, huh? That'd be cool. If I had talent and knowledge, I'd try and make a movie like that, huh? Money, that kind of thing. And that's why we have Creep Show right now. There we go. So, Haunted Love. Did I show the back of this? I think I did. This one is Jack Cole's Deadly Horror. Again, from the Chilling Archives of Horror Comics. <laughs> this is an easier way to get a lot of comics for a good price. This archive stuff. And as you can see, they're really well done. Uh, I should have jumped on these a long time ago. Yeah, this, like I said earlier, these books started back in 2012. And I remember seeing them when I was looking at horror movies through Amazon, but I was into trying to collect other things. I think it was posters and whatnot at the time. So, uh, late to the party, but I... I'm here.
one is Lou Cameron's Unsleeping Dead. And it's got like this witch looking character on the front. That's really cool. Looks like this takes place in some amusement park. Abandoned amusement park. They have like toy ads in here too, so I'm trying to see if I can come across some toy ads. I think this series of books does. I know I have a few books I got recently that showed some cool um, just monster toys, old ads from the 50s and 60s. A little bit from the 70s. I thought I saw something on the show. Oh, All right, so that's that. Yeah. Next is Return of the Zombies. I think this is like kind of the the first one's just called Zombies. I think this is like the volume two of that one. I don't I, I don't have the Zombies one yet. This is um eighteen. If the camera ever picks it up. Eighteen. Okay. So Return of the Zombies. I think Zombies is volume three. I don't remember. But check this out. This is pretty cool. Little bite mark at the end there. I didn't, wasn't expecting that. And uh, when I first opened it, I thought maybe it was damaged. <laughs> so it kind of freaked me out a bit. And then I was like, oh, wait, okay. <laughs> thought I was going to have to return this book for a split second. Yeah, all these horror comics from the 50s and stuff is completely new to me, guys. I've just never just, I've never even stumbled around these growing up as a kid, just so I'm just going to blame it on my age. Um, no, I've just never seen these available in any store. I guess this stuff would be, you know, obviously bigger, nicer bookstores, these, you would see these, but I don't remember these. These uh, these ones, well, they just started coming out a couple years years back. All these archive books, so but they've got me by the headlock. I'm all in now, so I'm gonna do that. Um, this is pretty cool. You get you get some covers here from previous volumes. Uh, the coloring book uses that image right there, so you could color that if you're interested in getting a coloring book from this series.
There's a few from Erie and Creepy that I want to get. So I like that. Pretty cool if I can get a nice lighting on that for you. And then, uh, this is volume, or issue one. And I guess you could, I guess you can just call this magazine, but it's a really nice, well done magazine. It's almost like a thin book, really. Um, Monster Maniacs, yeah, issue one. I think they've only done one and two. That's all I could find. So if you guys know, if they've done more volumes of this, please let me know, that'd be awesome. So, but I think they've only done two so far. all in color and you got covers to some other volumes I remember cracked I used to get that mad magazine and cracked I used to I definitely used to get those all the time especially the Halloween editions uh, growing up as close as I got to that kind of thing Pretty cool. And here is issue two. Covering some movies there. Vampirella. And there you go. All right. We got, this is volume one of the Vault of Horror, the EC Archives. Forwarded by R.L. Stein. Here are the others. All in color. I think this is, is this Dark Horse? Yeah, Dark Horse. I haven't bought anything Dark Horse in ah, close to two decades. So this is cool. I had a few Dark Horse ones, like mainly the Sandman stuff and a couple of other, a couple other comic books from Dark Horse. Uh, I remember being big into Sandman. So 
another story. A strange couple. check those other volumes out when I can. All right, next up is, and these are all going to be just black and white reprints, these archive books. This one is called The Ghostly, well, Ghoul Tales, um, one, number one. I think it's the only one. The Complete Ghoul Tales, yeah. I've shown this one already. I just got this in not that long ago. Death takes a holiday. Trying to make this video too long, guys. I'm already going over 30 minutes, but I'm gonna see if these long videos work out for me. I usually I cut it at 20 minutes, but I'm just gonna see what this new phone can do. So here we go. Here's the next one. Um, Skywald Scream Volume One. So this is the Scream. Love that watercolor. That's pretty cool. Lady Satan, Evil Origin Issue. Torture Chamber. What's that? Very cool. All right. This big one, they're all huge. Just about all of them are ridiculously huge. So I'll show you the new bookcase that I had to get. Oh, we're getting there. So this one is Eerie's Weird, volume one, complete collection. Check that cover out. Oof, make her drink some poison. That not good. <laughs> Corpses of the jury. Three in a grave. Sounds like some sort of ghoul. Alright, so that's weird from, from the wonderful world of Eerie. 
This one is Eerie's Horror Tales, number one. Somebody marked a number 25 up there. Let's see if I can clean that off as best I can. I just noticed that. Huh. It's not a big deal, but I don't know why they got to mark it. Marking in the pages, I'm fine with that. I've lucked out so far. Like pretty many of these books are in good good shape, so I have lucked out for the most part. Horror club. These are like thousands of uh, cool stories. That'll take my lifetime to get through. If I keep spraining my ankle, I'll have plenty of time to um, <laughs> read all these. In a... All right. So this one is Eerie's Terror Tells, number one. Look at that mummy. That's pretty cool. Sixties. That pre-code stuff. Ooh, that's cool. Look how gory these comics got back then. That is crazy. This is sixties. Here's some ads. I like these ads. These are pretty cool. Terror in the Attic. Fiends from the Crypt. I'm kind of going backwards with this, but it's just easier to flip this book this way. The Claw. Look at that, I got pretty graphic. Monster in the Mist. Alright, so that is the last... Last book for this update. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was uh, pretty fun to kind of flip through and show you guys that. Um, and then I'll show you the new add-on, if I can get up. Um, the new add-on I got, I found this at Home Goods, and I was completely shocked. I was not expecting to find this, and it's the perfect width and perfect size for what I personally need for this room, the space that I'm working with. So and it, and it just does it does good with the the, the taller books, so I'll put the bigger books down there, and I'm gonna start putting the um, Chilling Archives series. I'll put it uh, along here as well. So, but most of my I guess all the con horror comics will go up here is what I started doing. So and that's just a lot of space. Uh, most of my horror comics will be displayed up here. So that's the update um, for
for me from now. So yeah, I was ecstatic to finally find that uh, at Home Goods. I just wasn't expecting it. I just knew I needed another um, shelving unit, and they had a freaking magazine slash book rack. So I, I don't know what you really call it. It's just a magazine rack, really. But you can put the bigger books down there, so that's what I need. And uh, it just works out perfect. You can come in like that. And I'm still working on my other room, guys, so I know I kind of teased you about that in the beginning of this cheesy intro video. Uh, but still working on the other room. Um, uh, right now, I'm kind of focused on this room right now. So I'll show you guys what I got going on pretty soon. So um, here's the side. I've already started decorating it a little bit with this cool little piece. From hell it came. Some classic monster goodness and that is it for me guys um hope you enjoy this update a little update video for me and uh as always keep collecting and uh i appreciate your time uh, later hopefully this video as long as it is i won't have any problems with it and i can upload it so uh, take it easy